This is one of the reasons why you need a heated bed. Because it warped and snapped up off of the uh, surface there. So here's a heated bed I got for my Castle Mini. It came from Trinity Labs. It's uh, flexible and it's really, really thin. So, and it's got an adhesive on the back so you can stick it to your glass. It's got some nice flexible uh, silicone wire. And I believe that it is so thin that it will easily fit in here. And I will not have to do anything different from how I am mounting the glass right now. Right now I've been doing this. I'm going to get a big piece of clapped on tape. And stick it to itself. Clapped on tape is high temperature. So it works very well for holding this uh, thermistor tight against the bed. So we can get an uh, accurate uh, temperature reading. D8 is where the uh, heated bed will hook up and I'm going to add a heat sink to that transistor right there to uh, help keep it cool. So I accidentally, I powered it on and I had had um, this output set up for something else. It was for a power supply on instead of uh, the heated bed PID. So yeah, that's what happens if you heat up a piece of glass way too fast. 18 here. pretty hot down there in the middle. Yeah, it's smoking hot there. Cold out here. So this amazing temperature differential is why people use borosilicate get glass. It's real easy for this thing to crack. And also why um, if you use a circular piece of glass the temperature around it would be more uniform if it was about 180 millimeters. This is a 160 millimeter uh, heater so, I mean, it would maybe be a little better. So I'm tired of worrying about my glass cracking, so I'm going to try some aluminum. I know the aluminum won't be quite as flat, however, it won't crack. So I have cut myself a aluminum uh, build platform. I cut it out of a uh, backplane. You can get these to go into uh, electrical uh, enclosures. So um, I've heard that aluminum might not be as flat as uh, glass, but you know, by every test I can think of, it looks looks pretty good. I mean, I mean, it seems to be flat. So, from previous tries, I didn't get the feeling this thermistor was really getting very good uh, temperature. So, I'm going to cut it out of this uh, plastic a little bit. There's some heat stink.
I don't want it to have direct contact with this aluminum frame to suck all the heat out of it, so I'm going to put at least something, some tape, to prevent metal on metal contact. Surprisingly, aluminum wasn't a good surface. It didn't like it at all. I haven't used hairspray and it wouldn't stick. Painter's tape wins again, but that's fine. Oops. He loves it. So that masking tape <clears throat> conducted way too much heat. These heated up a lot, and in fact, they got loose. They got so hot, so I'm gonna have to find a way to insulate this plate from the uh, frame here. These are a little bit squishy, but they're pretty, pretty rigid. I think it's gonna work. And there's, since it's foam, there's some air in there. Should help insulate a little bit. For testing, I'm actually just going to sticky it down and then we'll see if I uh, make some brackets later. The double sticky uh, mounting squares seems to have worked uh, quite well and honestly, I don't think I really need clips to hold it on. It's not going to move pretty solid so this heated bed is working pretty good for my ABS plastic you see a little bit of heat is escaping 37 degrees but I'm running this at 90 now when you put this on if it the bed is a little bit unlevel what you can do is loosen up the screws on this on these and adjust it a little bit and then tighten them back down because there's a little bit of wiggle in these in these guys so